Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Coming in solution. Get out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. Yeah. <laughs> In front of us we have the GE. It's an AM FM portable radio with cassette recorder. The model number is 3-5244B. Yes, that's a mouthful. <laughs> I saw this on eBay for 14 bucks and decided to snatch it up. I hadn't had a good radio with a cassette player, so I figured this will be my first one. And this actually is my first ever AM FM portable cassette player radio I've reviewed on the channel. So here we go. So as you can tell, um, cassette, <laughs> it's awesome. We'll talk all about it. So yeah, let's go over dimensions really quick. We have 12 inches across, including the tuning knob over here. Height with the handle is 9 inches. We have a case depth of 3 inches, so it's a pretty wide body here. So it has a cool color combo, as you can see. This white with red trim and black. I actually kind of like it. It's got the 80-esque, you know, 80s-esque look to it. Loving it. All right, so let's go size comparison. This is always fun. This radio is big, so I can't put another big radio next to it, but we can put some smaller ones. I happen to have a formerly reviewed radio here, the General Electric AM FM Age of Giants video, if you guys ever saw that one. I may have to link that for you so you can see it. This model number, what is it, 72, let's see, 7-2582G. Yeah, they always have these long numbers, but uh, this radio does fairly well. Love the trim again. They, they got some cool styling. Yeah, it's rocking. <laughs> Very cool. And then we got, uh, what else? CC Pocket. Yeah. Um, CC Skywave. <laughs> these are just radios I have laying on my bench. Um, so, yeah, you can see that. Yeah, current time, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time in the evening. And of course, we can't forget about you know who Iron Man. He's the man who likes GE radios. <laughs> Spin right round. <laughs> He's spinning like a turntable. It's hilarious. Um, so it's stick of cards. Probably fit right there in a cassette. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Alrighty. So let's go over features of the GE model number three dash five two four four B. AM FM portable radio with cassette recorder. That's the cool thing. It has a microphone on here. All right, so on the left-hand side of the radio, it's like a uh, got a rib design there. It's kind of cool. It carries over the whole side. And then got the black back. Uh, I do like that. That's cool looking. Uh, front of the radio we have, as you can see, automatic stop. The cassette uh, door there. AC battery power. Nice. AM FM radio cassette recorder. GE General Electric. Up on top here. You can see it's got the controls for the cassette recorder. We got a pause, stop, eject. Yay, but you guys haven't seen one of these in a while. <laughs> Some of those, uh, what is this like lint here? Kit? Okay. Um, it's just the light. Uh, we have a fa fast forward and rewind. Now these are, it uses a separate belt for these. I think the belt's shot, so I can't fast forward and rewind my tapes. I can just play them. Uh, I haven't tested the record feature out yet, but uh, it's cool. <laughs> this is my first working cassette player, so it's kind of nice in a long time. Um, I don't know when the last time I had a cassette player in the house. So here on top here, we have the radio off position. So that's your tape mode. And if you move it to the middle, you have AM and over, you have FM. Oh, wow, it's tuned to Radio Totterbird already. Cool. Uh, so you have your selector there. We have our volume knob, which is right here on top which is interesting. That's not on the side. They put it right there. Here we have a condenser microphone, so I guess it'll pick up the audio nicely if you're recording from the radio, and it'll also pick up if you're, I guess you're talking right here. You can talk into it. So I think it's mainly for picking up the speaker because it's close proximity. So that's pretty neat. And then we have our dial, FM 88 to 108. And I love how they did the white lettering with the red outline and then the red indicator. And the indicator is pretty dead on, so your station is usually right in the middle there. So really easy to find your stations on the FM and AM. I noticed that uh, AM 550, it says to 1600. Of course, I'm guessing it's like 530 to like 1650. I did get a little higher than 1600 today when I was tuning the daytime bands. Uh, since I'm on top of the radio, I will show you there's a folding handle. Um, it doesn't really lock in any positions, just up and down, kind of basic. I can't really show it full frame. Here we have an antenna. It pulls out straight up. The nice thing about this antenna, it's, it's a really wide antenna at the top. So you don't have to worry about breaking it. So there's no dents, there's no creases, probably because it's built really strong. This extends out 20 inches, which is nice. So, all right. 
Let's go to the front again. The speaker here. It looks huge, but it's not. <laughs> it's like the Decepticon. <laughs> so it's like more than meets the eye or less than meets the eye. <laughs> the speaker is that big. It's three inches. And the speaker grill. I don't know. What's the speaker grill? I don't even measure this. The speaker grill is what, like six inches almost. Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds good though. That's the key. Sounds good. Big radio, better sound good. All right, uh, right hand side here, uh, you can see where the handle pivots and that red trim kind of carries along the sides too. I really dig that. It's awesome. Uh, really cool. Same rib design there in the white. A little bit of staining. It's hard to remove. I've been working at it. Um, here we have the tuning uh, knob here. It works pretty well for the analog. Bottom of the radio, you can see it's got feet. It's white. You got the black on the back there. Let's flip it to the back. All right, so I got this off eBay for 14 bucks, so that was a pretty good deal. Uh, it did require a lot of cleaning. It was pretty dirty. Uh, it has somebody's name on here. So, dude, I got your radio now. <laughs> There's the model number, 3-5244B. GE operates on 4C batteries and AC, which is nice. So you can use both. Don't open it up or you get zapped, it says. And let's go ahead and show you the battery compartment. What's it say on there? Is anything fancy? Uh, was the increased on author? Yeah, a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Let's go ahead and open this up. So it's got two tabs here. You push in, lift the battery compartment, and you can see the 4C batteries there. All the positives are going to the left direction. And uh, then there's your AC cord wound up in there. So the nice thing about that, it's permanently attached. You won't lose the cord, and it sounds good on AM and FM. So there's no uh, humming or buzzing when you plug it in. So I can get this closed. Sometimes it's really difficult. Let's make sure I had line that up. Okay, yeah, that was loud. <laughs> the, the plug sometimes gets in the way. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about FM reception, and then we'll fire this up. Do some radio Tadabert, and then we'll scroll through the AM band and see what we can find tonight with this. It was really good during the day. So FM reception report. Uh, typically, with most FM analog receivers, uh, they run about okay to good, and so did this one. We found 51 stations, though, which is a little bit above average. The average is about 46 to 48. Um, so this is a little bit better than average uh, FM, which is awesome. And then the, the FM selectivity was really good, I noticed. I was able to pick up some fainter stations in between some stronger stations. So the separation of stations was really nice. So that's what kind of pushed this radio up a little bit above average uh, overall on FM band. Pretty impressed with it. If you bought this to listen to FM and you don't live too distant uh, you know, from your stations, you'll be fine. Like I live about 25 to 35 miles on average from my FM stations and I pick up most of them. So this is really nice. Um, anything further out, you need to get a stronger DSP radio like an EP Pro or something like that. But it gives you an idea. It's awesome. I still love it. 14 bucks, rocking. Got a cassette player. I'm ready to make some mixtapes, <laughs> sort of. I don't know. I, I got to find some... Uh, Places that do they still make uh, cassette tapes that you can buy and record on? Blank ones? That would be cool. I can make a, a YouTube track for you guys and play it. <laughs> so, but I got something more fun we're going to show you in a moment. So let's go ahead and turn on Radio Totterbird. And uh, so we'll go to FM since I heard it. I don't know if I'm, I feel like I'm tuned right in. We'll run this for a few minutes.
for the audio pretty awesome and we're going to have some fun with the cassette player here in a second let me go ahead and just pause that turn off my chargers and my fm transmitter okay great so the thing is cassette player it's awesome so we're going to go ahead and pick this up and like i said the press forward and rewind doesn't work so i have to just play now the cool thing before i get started is i was at a thrift store um, in town here and they had uh, some tapes, cassette tapes. I was looking all over for cassette tapes, and my local Goodwill used to carry a ton of cassette tapes, and they stopped carrying them. So uh, I was at this little thrift store, and they had Lucille Ball, and I was like, okay. But I didn't notice it said the best of old-time radio show on there. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I just saw Sasonian and her, and I'm like, oh, is she a singer? I didn't know she was a singer. So I thought it was like her singing. But then when I got these home, um, I noticed that it said this old-time radio. And I'll show you one of the tapes, which we'll put in there and play. Um, so these are, before you have CDs, um, Radio Spirits. If you guys remember that, they still exist. They still uh, broadcast. Um, I know in my area, WBBM, Chicago, uh, at 12 o'clock midnight during the weekdays, uh, between 12 a.m. and uh, 1, 1 a.m., they play uh, old-time radio all hour, which is really nice. If you go to their website, they'll tell you the programs, what's playing uh, for the week. And, of course, they're probably, you know, simulcast everywhere, different uh, radio stations. This is from uh, year 2000, Radio Spirits, produced in association with Smithsonian. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, neat, neat tapes. I think they're like 90-minute tapes. They look like they're, they got quite a bit of tape in them. So what I'm going to do is put side B in. I think I was listening to that. Just to give you an idea. I think it's, this is the Lux Radio Theater. Then after this one comes My Favorite Husband. So it's kind of neat. It has the radio shows that she starred in. So pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, put in a tape deck here, fire it up. Go ahead and open it up. Slams open. So we are on tape one, side B. Okay. Goes in upside down, of course. You guys remember the old school? Whoops. Turn this on camera. There we go. And I will play this and we'll listen to some Lucille Ball. There we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> put it in the uh, tape mode <laughs> it shows you how uh, I don't own a cassette player this is fun, now I do and I'm trying to figure it out lovely bully ideas is fox on bully well, may not be exactly like England, Mr. President but the fox will never know the difference oh, here comes Brinstead tally ho, pip pip everyone, top of the morning your excellency thank you Brinstead, splendid day for the Brinstead, what you're limping yeah, what you doing with that cane? oh this, well I couldn't find a crutch, I looked all over <laughs> what? Heavens, man. Oh, it just happened, you know, about to leap on my horse when my old leg injury hit me again, just like that. Old oh, leg injury? Yes, I got it playing rugby at Oxford. I kicked a rug too hard. <laughs> it kept me off the crew, you know. I was a four-letter man. Yeah, and I can spell it. <laughs> well, we can't have the hunt without you. Guess we'll have to call it off. Oh, nothing of the sort. Tradition. Oh, I'll be all right. Old fellow, whop him, old boy. Oh. Just bring my beast over here and have her lie down. I shall get aboard somehow. <laughs> Oh, oh, Brinstead, oh. you can't possibly ride. Oh, I'll suffer through prayers. Nothing stops the Brinstead. Excelsior! Your family motto? No, somebody fetch some. I'll put it in my pants. <laughs> you can't ride. President's orders. Oh, well, I guess I'm outvoted then. Rum luck, eh? Better take my horse along, though. This could give her an inferiority complex. 
She wouldn't be able to hold up her tail among the other horses. <laughs> well, buzz off without me, you lucky people. Mount up, you all. Have fun. I'll just sit here till you and the pain go away. Well, folks, I guess we're all ready then. Yeah, you might as well start us off, your earlship. Get on your mark. I mean, <laughs> trump the trumpets. <laughs> must have a date with another fox <laughs> so yeah pretty cool love the show it's it's really fun so i'll go ahead and just stop that it was neat to find these tapes uh and in good you know good shape looks like they were hardly used um so it need, need to have and preserve uh i wonder if cassette tapes will ever make a comeback like vinyl um you guys let me know if you think these will ever make a comeback or not i think it's pretty cool all right yeah, there we go. Got a little taste of the old-time radio on the radio. Nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the AM band. Like I said, it was really good during the day. I was really impressed with it. Um, seems to pick up most of my stations that I want to listen to. Selectivity may not be fantastic, but, uh, you know, getting the good stations, good strong stations, sounded great. And the speaker does sound really good, even though it's <laughs> less than meets the eye. <laughs> that is so funny. Okay, it doesn't transform into anything, though, I don't think. <laughs> So let's go ahead and um, go to the AM with the selector here, the function selector that I forgot I need to turn for tape. <laughs> All right, there's AM. Okay, let's go to the bottom of the band there. And this will be fun to do on the camera. I'm thinking I can do it like this. We'll just turn the radio around. Let's try this. You guys can see the dial. So we are, oh yeah, I gotta show you my time. CC Skywave in the house. 5.16 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. We'll use this as a frequency checker if we need to. Um, we might find some daytime dusk. You know, this is just an hour after dusk here. Half hour after dusk. I'm just gonna do it this way. <laughs> it's gonna be easier. Let's go turn this on, and then I'll take her down to the bottom here. I think we're at 540. This is ESPN Wisconsin. There we go. So, we're at 540, local station, WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. Let's get some stuff moved here. Okay. Mike, I know you're going to talk about this in just a moment, but for the next five couples who call in today who have at least $500,000 in their retirement portfolio, we're going to do on a complimentary basis. Yeah, I wish that was me. <laughs> um, 560 uh, AM. This is uh, WIND, Chicago, Illinois. The answer. So they know how to create a dependable, sustainable income stream. And so they know maybe for the first time ever have that confidence to know that they have a game plan to move them. See where I'm at here. So WKZO, Kalamazoo, Michigan. 175 miles away. WMT, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Opiates, cocaine, amphetamines, performance enhancing drugs, or any other substance defined as a controlled substance under state law. And then theoretically, if a kid tests positive. Okay. 
So, um, yeah, love this news, man. It's like, can I like get away with it on YouTube? I don't know. Is this a good idea? So 620. This is another local station, uh, WTMJ Milwaukee. I think you should stop talking about it. <laughs> yeah, just not clear enough music. Let's see what this is. So it's... Okay, it's the same on the little Sugai wave. It's not coming in great. Might come in better later. Six forty the MFN Pieto in Illinois. I think it's like about seventy five miles. Sixteen hundred watts at night. And then we're gonna go to Nashville. Let me do it this way. So this is WSN Nashville, Tennessee. Um, on my mom's side, um, I always go down this year. 434 miles. Christmas WSM. Sweet. Sweet. So we're taking them to New York and, um, so we're gonna, yeah, but, um, so ditch the distractions. Join the movement and meet happy with Zoom video conferences. It would be nice if the volume was right here. <laughs> it's like, what the hell? <laughs> I guess this is nice of you recording. Having the volume up here. So, did I give you call letters? Uh, it's WSCR, the score, 670 Chicago. Sports. 700. So, yeah, we got a Cincinnati station, WLW. 300 miles. Scott's you save Stager, Illinois. Or call 720. 720 WGM. For all your tired. Okay, that station's uh, 740 uh, Zoomer, which is Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles, CFZM. So, Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. Dials, like I said, that dial's dead on. <laughs> 760 WJR, Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. 780 WBBM, Chicago. I'm just going to kind of cruise up quicker now. This is a WCPT civil rights shot. Eva Maria Lewis is a student said the call activist, letters. advocate, poet, and artist Local. from the south side of Chicago. After the shooting of Trey Craig and Landris brought his family in like Joey Craig and then Jimmy Smith over across the bridge. It's a family business and they know how important your time with your family is. That's why there has so, to be a So 840 Louisville, uh, Kentucky, about 300 miles, WHAS. And they'll bring the car to you to test drive Coming to nice. your home. KOA Denver, pretty quiet. Family, that's Right there. See JPC was right here. Barely getting it. It's right out in front last time I dropped him off. Yeah. It should be 880. Profiles and read about doctors who fit your needs and match your symptoms. 
So normally this is WCBS, New York City, New York. Eight ninety WLS Chicago. So it kind of clears up the dial quickly. Streaming memberships required. We talked to Todd Furman about this weekend's best plays in two minutes. This is one thousand ESPN WMVP. Whether you listen occasionally or can't get through Chicago. Happening here's more with Gary Nunn. In energy over the years. Think about that. Call window nation now. This deal is in the last week. Premium pad, and we take up your own by all accounts of every person makes it clear that as far as Yeah, we're just gonna crawl up the band here. I'm not gonna try to ID much, but uh, if you guys like this radio, I might do an evening or daytime band scan. It does fairly well. I might have better analog radios, but uh, it's not bad for 14 bucks. Of course, I'm not turning it, so I'm sure I could get more stations by moving it around. Downpour in the Paradise area. This is 1530 WCKY. Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. And, uh, so it's, it's great basketball. And uh, 1620. Get it, get it, get it. And it is called 1630. Christmas Chronicles. Probably comes up to around 1650 to 1670. Cool. Okay, we'll stop it there. You get an idea. I mean, it, it can be fun on the AM band. So, yeah, if you found this in a thrift store, oh, yeah. So, we'll talk about final thoughts on the GE AM FM portable beast with a cassette recorder. It's awesome. Um, I kind of lost the model number. What's this model number? 3-5244B. Yeah, I didn't memorize that. I had to write that down. <laughs> um, so, yeah, final thoughts. Uh, yeah, I picked up for 14 bucks, and I'm really happy, even though I may have to open it up and see if I can change the belt uh, for the uh, fast-forward and rewind. I'm hoping I can find uh, belts for this thing. I'm thinking I can. I have to do some searching, and maybe I can use a, an O-ring or something like that. See if that works. But uh, yeah, it would be nice to be able to fast forward and rewind. Otherwise, I just have to play through the whole tape to get to the other side. It's pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it works, which is great. And maybe I can test the record feature and, and see if it records off the radio good. That'd be kind of fun, too. Um, I have a joy with this thing. It's awesome. Uh, so yeah, for 14 bucks, loving it. The FM reception is great. The AM reception is very good. You could hear it trying to bring a lot of stations in. And we're at dusk, so it's kind of like that... that jumble of stations with daytime switching to nighttime nighttime switching on so we're, we get a lot of mixing stations it's a good time to search though for uh stations you haven't heard before so i've been finding a few here and there i like the color scheme i like the black red and white i think it's really cool uh, i love the 80-esque 80 80-esque 80 i keep saying that wrong 80s-esque styling it's pretty neat and uh you know even though it's got the 
less than meets the eye of speaker, still sounds halfway decent. It would be cool if it had bass and treble control, but it is what it is. So if you enjoyed the presentation of the General Electric 3-5244B, give me a big like. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. You know it. Uh, two, if you're new to the channel and you love GE radios, subscribe at the bell icon. I'm always buying GE radios. Always. I like them just like my Panasonic's. I'll put a playlist on the side here at the end of the video uh, for all my GE radios. You guys can check those out if you're interested. Amazing. I have a GE Super Radio sitting over there. Yes, I do. I love my GE Super Radio. <laughs> That's why I like GE. Um, it's awesome from this, this era, especially. So, yeah. And, of course, below, comment what you think about this radio. Would you buy it? Would you pass? Do you think it's like, dude, what are you doing with that thing? Or are you like, awesome, man, cassette player? So let me know. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you watching. Take care. We'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.